All right, what I'm going to do right now is uh, go back to my project here that I've got open, and I'm going to uh, get some sun settings um, done. First thing I'm going to do is uh, refine my location setting, and then I'm going to uh, rotate true uh, project uh, the true north uh, to the correct rotation, and then I'm going to uh, initiate some uh, sun studies uh, for this project. So the first thing I want to do here is go to location, and as you can see here, um, the location is set to Stockholm, and my location happens to be in Lynn Shipping, so I'm going to just correct that. And where I am uh, is in location setting. Let me go back to that. Make sure you can. I'll be over here. And then uh, go ahead and set that. I'm setting that search. You can see here I get the Lynn Shopping location on this map. So I will accept that. And then um, I'd like to, you can see um, this is my survey that I have on my view. And what I'd like to do is set my true north uh, to the correct rotation. Depending on how your view set up, if you go down to orientation, uh, you may have true north or project north. Project north allows you to set an ortho, more of an orthogonal setting for your view, especially if you have a rotated uh, true north. Uh, but when I go to the true north here on this setting and apply, you can see that my true north is also set to be orthogonal. I actually want it to have this rotation so that my sun settings uh, will come in correctly. So what I need to do is come into um, position, rotate true north, and uh, grab my uh, center of rotation here. and set this to rotate to orthogonal, straight up. There. So now my north arrow is pointing directly upwards, um, and my project is tilted in the correct uh, rotation. And when I go back to Project North, I still have my true north setting. So all that's good. It's just on the solar, it's going to understand exactly my solar angle. So now I can start setting up some solar views here, kind of like the way I set up my design views. So let's go back to one of my uh, 3D views here. Maybe this one. There. So here I've got this uh, uh, view of my um, project at the corner. So what I, what I kind of want to start to see here is some uh, some um, shadows and, and solar effects. So let's go ahead and turn on the shadows. And uh, you can start to see I get, I get some shadow play here. Uh, I'll go into my graphic design options and go into my lighting, my sun setting. And uh, you can see that my location is coming in and coordinating well. So what I'd like to do is, um, before I do all this, uh, let's go ahead and set some um, views for this. So I'll duplicate this view and rename it. Let's call this uh, solar, I don't know what to say, summer. Now that I have like three possible views, I could do times of day or times of year, whatever. 
Um, so let's just come here to the uh, spring view and set my, um, oops, I kind of want to be here. Let's set uh, maybe a day in March. You can actually pick the year. So let's just go to March 2012, 22nd. And notice it asks you to set your ground plane. My ground plane is actually um, at level three. And uh, um, let's try at three o'clock in the afternoon. So now I get some sense of what that looks like. Another thing to play with is if you want your, you know, your kind of your shadows to start showing up a little bit strong, you can play with these uh, settings here. This will pretty much send set your brightness so your brightest spot depending on how hot your sun is uh, and then this will actually set the amount of light in the rest of the scene so you can see it'll get darker or lighter depending on the amount of ambient light that's another way to play with your color actually so i you know i've got some pretty good i can see some pretty good shadows here so that looks pretty good any 66 so that looks good let's go ahead and set the other days and I could, you know, rename this to uh, three in the afternoon. Let's just go here. I think I'll just come in and there. And that three in the afternoon of summer day. Uh, maybe we want ours to be in the morning. So that looks pretty good. Oh, I'm still in the spring. Let me cancel out. There. Say 9 a.m. shot there. There. So there's your kind of a summer day. And then here I'll go to uh, 621, 9 a.m., okay? So let's just rename that. And I'm going to winter. It's pretty kind of stark. What was that a uh, three o'clock in the winter? Okay. All right, so now I've got you know, you can imagine you can run as many of these as you need to. 
And then, um, you know, putting these on a sheet is pretty straightforward. It's kind of like what we went through before. Uh, go to a presentation sheet here. And back to my 3D views. see these side by side. And the nice thing about naming them is if you really need, you know, if you want to just put your, um, there, you can just kind of get your, um, if you name your view, you can easily get your uh, names to show up here. Kind of got all in one. So that's how you can look at your solar uh, angles and settings for comparison in, uh, in a project setting.